Charles. Kinzinger, Lee. O'Hara, Michael. There you are. There you are. And that's all the mail for you fellas. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Taylor. Don't you have any mail for the uh, lady type Navy? Sure do, Lieutenant, ma'am. I was just saving the very best for the very last. Oh. <laughs> McGuire, Molly. Oh. Kowalski, Salma. <laughs> and now for the grand finale, gentlemen, love, Roberta. Roberta, you're not in showbiz anymore. That's a platform, dear, not a runway. <laughs> a minute, Lieutenant, ma'am. I got a USO package here for one of your uh, girls. Uh, oh. <laughs> Botnik Marion. That's not funny, Taylor. No, girl. Well, you know, have you built ranch? Have you ever seen a package before? Now, now, it'll blow your stack. Remember, you're supposed to be a lady. <laughs> I'm gonna fatten your lips. Now, believe that, Botnik. You mean I gotta keep taking all this stuff because the Navy made a mistake? Affirmative. Marion Botnick is listed as a wave, and waves don't hand out fat lips. Uh, and you button yours up, sailor. Oh, uh, yes, Lieutenant. <laughs> All right, fellas, that's it for today. Don't let them get you down, Marion. They're just jealous because the USO didn't send them anything. Hey, hurry up and open it. You might even get a pinup. Yeah, they sent me a pinup. John Wayne. <laughs> well, that does it. When civilians start listing me as a wave, it's time to get out of this chicken skin outfit. Combat Beasley, eh? You've got the killer instinct in your eye, Commander. Right. Now, steady. Let's have that, that, that devil may care smile, sir. There, hold it. Hold it. There. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you to me are, are, are a natural born actor. So you are the, the swashbuckling type, like, uh, 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 like Errol Flynn. Oh, come now, Beasley, don't be ridiculous. Oh. Errol Flynn's hair is much lighter than mine. <laughs> but, uh, to print up six of those, six, six, and, six. and be sure to retouch the marks on his belly where he washed up on the beach. Okay. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, what about those uh, shots of uh, you standing fearlessly beside the wild boar uh, that Lieutenant Trotter shot? Well, half a dozen of those, please, Lee, in color. <laughs> yes, there you are. <laughs> Freeze, Lieutenant! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there, Commander. I was just coming in to see you. Oh, now, don't try to baby blue-eye me, Lieutenant. You were just sneaking out. Eh? <laughs> well, just what was it that you wanted to see me about? I am an extremely... <laughs> what are you giggling about? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It's just that I love the way your knees dimple up when you're mad. <laughs> oh, don't. Don't be frightened. So, what is your problem, Lieutenant? Same as always, sir. Machinist mate Mary Botnitz request for transfer. Miss Morgan, may I remind you that your entire wave detachment was wished on me by the Pentagon, and only the Pentagon can get any of you off of this island. But, Commander, there must be something you can do. Botnitz had just about all the waves he can stand. So have I, Lieutenant, so have I. But there's nothing I can do about it, so if you'll excuse me, I have problems of my own. <laughs> I, I. 
sir. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry. Well, after you rank first, you know. Oh, no, no, no. After you, beauty takes precedence, even in the Navy. Oh. All right, all right. Let's not get sickening about it. One in, one out. <laughs> Signal just received from Pearl, sir. We're going to be honored with an official visitor from Washington. Washington? No. <laughs> Washington? Whom? Uh, Captain McLeod. He's with the Navy Department. Due in next Friday. The devil is he coming here for? Trotter. I, I knew it. I. So, uh, what's the sentiment, sir? <laughs> it's those waves. What do you mean, sir? Those petticoats, sailors. They are bringing the brass here. We are going to be deluged. My little island paradise, washed away in a tidal wave of VIPs and fathead politicians. Oh, I'm sure you're a match for any fathead, sir. <laughs> That's your life, I am. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those females. Trotter, we have just, we have just got to get something on them. I'm afraid that'll take some doing, sir. Even for you. All right, all right, all right. Then we'll simply have to manufacture something. We simply have... I know just the man who can do it. Botnik. Botnik? Oh, no, not a chance, sir. He's, he's much too loyal to the girls to think on them. Oh, he'll think. <laughs> I'll cooperate when I go through with him. a frog man and I end up playing Charlie's aunt. I am up to here with Adrian's tricks. Where are you going? I'm going to go tell our chintzy commander he can't get away with this. Marion may be away by mistake, but he's still one of us. And nobody's going to make you a laughing stock. But, Lieutenant, that's insubordination. He could put you in the brig. Uh, Lieutenant, you better cool it. This is just what Adrian's been waiting for. You blow your stack, he'll ship us all out. Oh, I guess you're right. And the whole wave experiment will go right down the drain. Oh, the first time I, I ever went to punch a man in the... No, and my hands are tied. Well, mine aren't. It's time somebody showed Commander Adrian he can't do this to a fighting man. Hey, wait a minute, Marion. You can't go in to see the CO like that. Why not? Well, you got to run in your stocking. <laughs> Sir? I demand a transfer, and I'm going to get it if I have to swim all the way to Admiral Halsey, sir. Well, that's doing it the hard way, Botnick. Just take it up with your immediate superior, Lieutenant Morgan. But she says you're the one that's fouling me up. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's an old feminine device. Known mea culpa. That's Latin for passing the buck. You mean she's giving me the fast shuffle? Well, all she has to do is to request the Pentagon to transfer the entire wave detachment. Isn't that right, Beasley? Uh? Oh, uh, right ho, sir. <laughs> and the moment you arrive stateside, you'll, you'll be out of the waves and, and, and back in this, this man's navy. <laughs> I, I'd give anything to get out of this girdle. <laughs> Sit down, my boy. <laughs> now then, since Lieutenant Morgan won't cooperate, there's only one way out for you, Botnik. That's to have her girl shipped out. Ooh, say for um, inefficiency or dereliction of duty or, oh, disrupting the male morale. Oh, that last one is a 4.0 dandy, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls aren't doing anything like that. Oh, well, they don't have to be. It just has to look that way, Beasley. You mean frame them? Oh, 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 I couldn't do that. How could I look myself in the face in the morning? If you don't, Botnick, you won't have to. Remember, waves don't shave. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Yeah. Come here. What's on your brain there, Buffy? I think I got taken last night in a crap game with some Marines. Can you tell if these dice are loaded? Oh, well, if you got them from them Leathernecks, there's got to be something wrong with them. Here, let me, uh... Excuse me. Got a fight man get to his work here. <laughs> See, look at that. Snake eyes. Yeah. One more time. One more time. All oh, right, all right, Sailor. Break it up. Botnik, have you flipped your hatch? Shooting crabs on duty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lieutenant, you don't think that we, that the, uh, Lieutenant, we were just trying to find out if these dice was loaded. Oh, come on, D'Angelo. That alibi's right out of sick bay. Now, really? Well, well, honest, Lieutenant. Here, try for yourself. All right, all right, but they better be loaded or you're all going to end up in the brig. You understand? They're loaded. <laughs> Deuce another crap. That's one. That's one. <laughs> Shower area all clear, Lieutenant. Well, all right. Take your usual guard post and sing out loud and clear if any sailors approach. Aye, aye, ma'am. <laughs> shower. Uh, but, but wait till Captain McLeod sees this one, sir. Imagine Lieutenant Morgan shooting craps with enlisted men on duty. Oh, you're so right, Beasley. That is definitely the grabber. Yes, sir. <laughs> the grabber. <laughs> My boy, you are an artist. I hate to spoil your fun, sir, but Captain McLeod is due in at 1800. Uh, why don't you run along and change, sir? I'll be glad to take care of these photographs for you. I'll just bet you would, Trotter. But I wouldn't trust you, Lieutenant, any further than I could throw that safe, which is exactly where these historic documents are going. <laughs> All right, here he comes. General Quarters, man your ballot station. Oh, hello there, Botnik. Say, uh, would you mind putting this back in the tool bin for me, please? Hey! What's all this for? Well, I just thought we'd correct one of the Navy's mistakes. You are officially a wave, so you don't raid enlisted men's quarters. And you're unofficially a man, so you don't raid wave's quarters. Which left you bunking outside an old marine reject pup tent. So we just decided to fix ship with a little nest so you shouldn't feel rejected. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have done this. Not for me. I'm nothing but a ten-cluster rat fink. I sold all you guys down the river. <laughs> but don't be silly. Why would you sell us out? So I could quit wearing garter belts. <laughs> the Adrian's had me taking pictures of you all week. What? Well, what kind of pictures? Going in the enlisted men's showers. At least I fixed the signs so it looked that way. And, and boozing it up on duty. I hooked that up, too. And the one of you shooting crabs is the best one on the lot. <laughs> Commander Adrian has them all in his safe. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I only hope they transfer me to a suicide squad so the nips can save you the trouble of shooting me. Hold it, Bobby. Now that's an order. Look. You're not the first one in this girl's Navy ever to make a mistake, and you certainly won't be the last. You mean you want me to stay in, in spite of what I did? That's one of the advantages to working for women. We've been forgiving rat things for centuries. <laughs> you have? I, I mean, you will? Gee, thanks, Lieutenant. There's just one nasty little detail that still bothers me, and that's Adrian and what he wants with those pictures. Holy jumping torpedoes, I forgot. There's a Navy man from Washington flying in at 1800. And that's, that's what, what he, he wants, wants with the pictures. Picture. <laughs> Goodbye, Ronakai. Goodbye, careers. We've let the Navy down. They'll never give the weight another chance. That's all right, Molly. Now, we're not going to let Adrian scuttle us without a fight. We've got an hour before that plane comes in, so let's just put our heads together and start thinking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why did I think of this before? 
That's it. We'll bring the safe right here. <laughs> Gather round, girls. Let's get organized for Operation Heist. <laughs> Take a look at the next one, Trotter. I think it gives a true picture of me as a sportsman. Oh, it certainly does, sir. Isn't that the wild boar I shot? Well, time to get to the airstrip. <laughs> Beasley, I want you to keep an eye on that safe and don't budge until we get back. Aye, aye, sir. Condition, unbudgeable. <laughs> Officer. Oh, 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 you were? Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, well uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. But uh, uh, the uh, uh, photographic officer is uh, 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 looking right back at you. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, would you mind asking him if he'd take a few cheesecake pictures of me? The men's magazines back home just keep pestering me all the time. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I see, I see what they mean. I mean, I mean that, that is, uh, uh, listen, I, I would uh, really like to uh, help you out, but uh, I, I have been specifically ordered uh, not to leave this office. Oh, gee, that's too bad. I mean, I'd hate to disappoint all my fans. Uh, well, uh, I mean, if, if you, uh, if you uh, put it that way, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we could, uh, you know, work in a few, uh, shorts. That's not uh, 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 come on, uh, why don't we just go in the dark? <laughs> okay, Molly, make with the blowtorch, and hurry! to our little base. Thank you, Commander. Washington is extremely interested in how the wave experiment is working out. I've come to get your personal evaluation. Good, good. Well, I'll fill you in, sir, on the way to the office. Thank you. <laughs> Can you get it? Ha, ha, ha. 
this rig rolling. We gotta get this safe back before Roberta runs out of ammunition. <laughs> I, I, I'm afraid that that'll have to do it. Oh, no! I mean, we can't stop now. I mean... I, I have to get back to the commander's office. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Is that trip really necessary? <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, un unbudgeable. Good, good, good. <laughs> we just said to budge. Uh, oh, no. Sir. I have here visual proof of the scandalous behavior of Lieutenant Morgan and her <laughs> ladies. And I use that word loosely. <laughs> this is what's been going on here at Ranakai. Just a sample, sir, just a sample. Some of the other things, I wouldn't even allow this upstanding young ensign here to develop the negative. You're absolutely right, Adrian. These pictures are disgraceful. Wouldn't you say so, Lieutenant? Well, sir, that happens to be, uh, uh, the <laughs> uh, quite true, sir. You know, I couldn't uh, agree more completely. Well, let me see. Uh, oh. <laughs> Captain, there must be some mistake. Agreed. And you made it, Commander. This is proof positive, all right, but not of the ridiculous charges you made against the waves. What I see here is a naval officer goofing off while the rest of us are fighting a war. But, Captain, but no budget. <laughs> One more stunt like this out of you, and I'll recommend you for a Section 8. <laughs> Let's go, Lieutenant. This is getting to be a lousy war. <laughs> Too wide for the door. How? How? That's exactly what I'm trying. Exactly what I'm going to find out. I'm not rest until I get to the bottom of this. I am going to find. I. 